and Secret do it? Can they close up the series or can Liquid bring us that game five? We're about to find out here. As you were starting to say, there are these big hero counters. There is the pick up at the Rubik. We can expect flashy stuff to happen there. But over on the side of Liquid, we have that beautiful Miracle AM coming into play. Yeah, and like you said, there is a lot of other, of course, iconic combos coming out. We have GH playing that Shaker. We, of course, have mid one afterwards playing on this Templar Assassin too. We've been seeing them playing these heroes so many times. I mean, this one should be quite a lot of battling. I think if, if, if the last the last few games say anything, it's that we're going to see these teams just running at each other and fighting. And right now we see Liquid. Liquid's having a little bit of fun. They're playing with the, one of these little balloons. They just keep actually bouncing it back and forth. They're actually having a good time down here. Um, with these lineups, as sort of as the panel was discussing, is there yes. a side that sort of needs to run at the other side a little earlier, a little quicker with these lineups? You can imagine that Secret's going to set the tempo. They're going to be setting that pace. It usually is the case when you have a hero like Templar Assassin, this early early game uh, dominator, as well as that Abaddon that we've been seeing. It's really all about these lanes, and we could see them really do quite a lot with this one. They have this Yapsor, Rubik, and Puppy on this Abaddon that they... I think Secret was the ones that were the first ones to be bringing this Abaddon to the table a few months ago. We had a couple where they picked it as core. We saw Zai playing it, but for the most part, we we saw them bringing that, uh, that five Abaddon early on, and it puts so much pressure in the laning phase. There's so much damage that can come out between the trio of the Sven, of the Rubik, and the Abba. So... Liquid definitely are going to have to just play that farm game and try to hold off on the towers. Because the other thing that I know Tsunami mentioned at the end is the wave clear is not the greatest on Liquid. Sniper, sure, can be great at holding those type of high grounds, but and we seem be tough. Both of these teams in, in numerous matches make sort of the, the musical moves around the lanes. So we're going to see that this time. Our first Kuro is going to have to make some sort of a move as he's back to base. First blood for Secret picked up by the tri-lane. For Liquid, I'm wondering if they can really move these lanes. They just want to have Miracle versus the Pango, I think is the most specific thing. And I think they've got that match up here. So I think Liquid's going to stay like this. Secret, you might see supports move a little bit, but Nisha's is going to have full free farm anyway. So that's going to stay there. So this is sort of the life of the top lane. Just Kuro just hoping to, to soak up what he can without feeding his life away. Yeah, he's going to try. Mid matchup also, mid one after a, a very dominant performance oh, in the last one. Could have a Kuro. really good timing. Kuro. Again, drag back into the stun. They'll dive in for it. There we have it. Missed call from Puppy. Closes up another kill on to Kuro. Mid lane. Mid lane. GH does get the wraparound. Mid one. Starting to back off. They've got more shrapnels to play with. Can mid one get his way out of this? He's got refraction back up in eight seconds. Looks like he has the movement speed. And with Puppy coming in as well, mid one will be able to get himself back away. GH. Does not have anything else to throw out other than the right clicks. This will continue to be nothing more than just a nuisance here to the mid lane. It's Third. Puppy healing mid one back up into a position where he can continue to, to go back to CSing. They're going to have to have a very successful bottom and mid lane as top lane is going to be completely abandoned. They have a nobody laning versus a Sven, and it's never good in, in Dota to have a lane completely abandoned. That's, it is very painful. I mean, Kuro will say, hold on there. I'm, I'm, he's I'm trying. This, but as you say, he spent more time out of the lane than in it with those yeah. two deaths. Mid lane puppy with a quick trip back to base off the deny. They at least do have mid one, or my control uncontested in the jungle. There's nobody, no wards or anything, nobody walking in to actually slow him down at all. So he will have a free time as this Enigma. And he actually finds himself an arcane rune too, one of the better runes. Now you can actually use midnight pulse in the jungle too to speed up your farm of that jungle. Rather when you usually see that Malefice skilled up. And bottom we will see, of course, Miracle gonna have that full free farm, but the movements are gonna start coming out. Yapsaw. Dines off the right clicks. Miracle trying to head over and burn the mana of the Rubik, but Yapsaw holds his holds his distance. They've got a mango on Zai. See if Zai wants to try and chase it. Does put the mango, but the swashbuckle. It's it's not on point at all. Zai totally whiffs it. And we do see that that similar thing that we saw earlier from uh, from Yapsaw in the last game with that Ring of Health pool. It was actually the same exact thing for Mind Control. He didn't do the Ring of Regen. He saved up for Ring of Health and then gives it to the Anti Mage in the off lane. Denied. Taking a page out of Secrets book that they did in that last game. And yeah, we, we've seen teams do that, but not with that Ring of Health Rush. That's the first time, one of the first times I've seen that being done. Both Matsu and Mid 1 have received sort of the little lookings on Mid from the supports, and it's allowed them to, to stay very level in farm, apart from, well, the, the, the slight lead, of course, actually, for, for Mid 1 on his TA. And 13 denies. So the level difference will be coming out between the two of them. And he, it's just going to keep building up more, too. That TA just starts having more 
more of a better matchup versus the sniper. Sure, shrapnel can give you some like kill threat if there's a rotation coming through, but the last hits are impossible as a sniper. You only have 60 TI even without refraction. It has way higher than you. Those denies will definitely start to build up. We see the movements coming out. Secret are going to be looking and checking every single rune because they know there's a jungle enigma and there's an abandoned lane in the top lane for the most part. So they have a lot of liberty to move around the map freely. So mid bomb, middle lane. He's got refraction back up, but yes, this isn't pressed in time. The Fisher comes down before he's able to cast it, and GH sets up a kill for Matumba. That's why you see the skill build. Instead of going for like your last hits, your more points in your headshot, your take aim, he's going for those extra points in Shrapnel. It's about those rotations to kill rather than the last hits in the lane. As Kuroki is not dying, he is getting that experience up top, so it is not a sack is. lane now. But we will have a high-level Disruptor. And if you get a quick six on Disruptor, a lot of big plays you can make. You know, there's always that period, the static storm, and it's most effective when BKBs aren't in the game. You're going to have much more of a window to open with if you're able to get away with the solo levels. Yeah, definitely. Patience for the runes. Trying to jump here for Yapsaw. This year as well, causing him to be blocked off. The neutrals do stun the two of them. See Yapsaw trying to run away. Miracle needs a couple more hits, and he should be able to get this. Zai is out of mana. See if they want to dive in past the tower, Miracle. He's not going to go for it. He's going to play what it safe a, and go back to the farm. What a team play by Zai. No, no tangos left on Yapsor. He actually has the Quelling Blade and cuts the tree to make sure that his buddy can get out there. Javelin also finished up on this Pango, who's been slowed down a bit in that bottom matchup. But once his mana gets burned out, he's able to trade the right clicks at an OK margin with that Miracle anti-mage. So no, full charge, though, finished GH. up 3 a.m. And looking for another wraparound onto mid bot. We'll be able to block him off a little bit, especially as well using the body blocking, but Puppy's there. Makes the kill impossible for Matsu and GH to go for. Bottom lane, Miracle. Again, playing aggressive, making sure that he can burn the mana off. Zai, Zai, Swashbuckle still on cooldown for a few seconds. We'll be able to juke his way around the trees. They've got the timing of the Dominator with that first catapult Ooh. wave, so they're diving. And in fact, Zai, he was out of mana before he could cast the Swashbuckle. Jump out for Miracle is there. But Mind Control caught underneath the towers. The C T side of Secret bring four heroes in. Will punish Liquid for diving. They know how important it is when you see this in this Enigma hero. People are starting to learn how you want to react first. So you don't want to just give up your safe lane tower to that first rotation. Mind Control getting the ideal timing. Since he wasn't slowed down at all, like we were talking about, gets that very early Dominator on with that first Siege Wave. And they're looking to put the pressure on again in the mid lane. Even a rotation from the Enigma to look for this tower brings his catapult here. They still have that one set up here. They do need to do something mid, as mid one is getting very far ahead and far. Now with the jump forward from Zai, they get the telekinesis, Yapso drags him back. GH from the back lines gets the three-man Fisher though, to stop the attempt from Secret. They'll now turn back towards Zai. Another enchant totem slap there from GH, but Zai's fine. Puppy in the river. As they'll back away, Secret, they'll try for the chase. Zai in with the swashbuckle, GH. Will be run down here by the two of them, the Miss Carls. He's got a stick charge. Matu and Kuro still there though, actually. So GH, another proc on a puppy, holds him down. He's trying for the deny. He'll get it. Puppy denies himself. Eight heroes in the mid lane. We knew these teams were going to be about the battling, and they don't care about regular lane setups at all. It's just all about the fighting. Nisha getting a lot of space out of this, but also, same thing with Miracle. Yeah, up straight, up, straight up to the top lane, Miracle. It's both cores farming at a similar pace. Just that Nisha will be able to be that little more effective at a bit of a sooner time as they Sven. Yeah, absolutely. He's just going to be able to also just get involved much more just with his stun. He can just walk in with his team while Miracle can't actually really get involved too much as an anti-mage in this game early on. You are easily going to die. As the panel mentioned too, you look at the side of Liquid and they're very squishy. You get collapsed on by the Heroes of Secret and you're likely to die if you get caught in a stun. Definitely feels that... You know, with the fact that they have a sniper and an AM, and of course Matsu sniper, not off to a hot start with the way the mid bomb was able to bully him in the mid. They need time liquid. They need to make space for these two cores. So the work really is cut out for GH Mind Control and Kuroki to keep Secret's pressure off. Yeah. They really want to at least claim themselves some towers. If the early, earlier you get these towers on, it gives them more uh, space for the anti-mage to at least get into these unorthodox farming places. You can farm inside the enemy jungle when he gets that battle theory finished up. So definitely wanted to get these early tier ones with that enigma. But we see Secret, they understand it. Bottom, they responded with four. Mid, as soon as the enigma showed up, they responded with four as well. They don't want to lose these early tier ones versus this enigma lineup. Just less than a 1k difference at Eight and a half minutes in three to one. Nisha at the front of the farm, but Miracle very close behind. 
Even though the CS difference was there, you can see between Midwant and Matumba, only about 500. As they did get that action going the way for Matumba, getting those kills on Midwant in the laning stage. But it's really the levels, just two, full two level advantage for Midwant. Bottom. bottom. They want to secure that tower. Maybe go for the kill as well, GH. Step in. Nisha will chase down. GH has the movement speed. A tower taken. Another bit of a burst to Nisha's gold. As the Echo Saber will be coming in very quickly this game for Sven. It's going to be a very passive early game for Liquid. They really just need levels to be building up for them to be able to fight. While well, Secret, what the panel's talking about, they're going to be all about that aggression, looking to just keep it up as soon as they get even one of these item timings. I believe even just levels too. As soon as Zai's level 6 has that Rolling Thunder, they're going to look to be fighting even more. They know what they're playing versus. They know they're playing versus this late game anti mage that does not want to get involved. The best Miracle can do is just hide back in the trees. Yep. I have the potential of going back in for the farm. It is just Zai here for now. Yaps are relatively close as the Rubik, but he'll head over to look to secure some of these 10-minute runes. Kuro, Matsu will be around. Zai rolls in, able to pick up the bounty rune on the way over. Miracle jumps across with the ult. Will be able to pick up the kill on Yapsor. Lose the bounty runes, but they do get, they get the kill for the anti-mage. Miracle gets some money. Gets involved, himself involved early, which you wouldn't traditionally see. Being able to play around that bounty. Nisha now with the full Echo Saber finished up, though. And mid one, in the meanwhile, just, just farming. He's okay with any of this, any of this happening. He knows he's going to out-farm a Sniper. If Sniper is jungling, there's no way you match a Templar Assassin in that speed. A mid lane. They've got the trap slows for GH. Matsu's there to guard him. Zai's heading over as well. Secret with Ooh. four around the middle. Nice. Gives him the take aim. Not what Yapsar wanted at all. Shrapnel being one of the better spells you can steal in the game as well. Again, these traps making a lot of problems here. Jumping behind. Zai gets the wraparound with the swashbuckle. Kuro is falling incredibly low. GH has the lockdown though. Zai jumped in for this and Zai will die. He... Bit over aggressive. He wanted there. to go for it. He saw Kuro, felt confident of going in for the kill. They knew that there was a lot of heroes there. Zai jumping into the three of them ends up being a mistake. All about these early battles and me matching the aggression coming out. Just don't let Secret run over and pretty much don't let anybody claim tier ones. It seems like it's the name of the game from both of these sides right now. Still going to be seeing that level discrepancy though. Level 10 TA, level 7 sniper. Mid one just continues to ramp up a bit faster. As bottom, stolen blink by Yapsar. Trying to put some pressure on. Zai, looks like he's just going to use this one to farm a bit here. Do you see GH though instead? And in oh, fact, with the okay. remainder of the Rolling Thunder, Zai, he's able to come across, join forces to help pick him out. All right, looks like they wanted to go for the Enigma, but GH kind of just walked into Nisha there, able to get that set up. As Kuroki will still try to get that level 6, not as fast as we would have thought after he had that solo lane and immediately gets jumped. He's jump in, trying glimpses and back, but he can only take Zyapso away from himself. Zai's in. Having Blink stolen on Rubik, like we're talking about, there's so many different spells he can steal. Having Blink stolen is one of the dreams. It may not seem like the most impactful spell, but sometimes just being able to get your telekinesis off of the Rubik is what gets you a kill. Miracle. Ooh. Trying to trade hits there with mid one there. Oh, he just oh, dies. Hey, Zai! He's prepared, he's there. Cuts him off. A 3K lead, 4K now for Secret. Azai yep. making these rotations happen. Sometimes we'll see him going a little too hard, but that time he's, he does it perfectly. Those type of deaths hurt so much too. It's on the anti-mage, the most important one. And, and AM doesn't want to be slowed down in this game at all. He needs to have this perfect game where he can get a fast battle fury because Secret's already starting to do what their lineup does. Just get this game, get the ball rolling, take all these towers. Set up for that Roche with an early Desolator. Mid one already pretty much has it finished up. Another death like that for Miracle will be devastating yeah, for pressure Liquid. pressure really building up from Secret already. As Matu still trying his best to find that recovery. We've seen him do it before on his Sniper. It's going to be hard this game though. Secret so many ways to get on top of him. Yeah, just with that Pango, with the Rubik, if he does, able, is, is able to get the Blink. We have to imagine Nisha is going to get one pretty early on, or just some mobility, just speed. He's actually going for the S and Y, just to be able to run in and just tank up. 
That's pretty scary. I'm looking at the side of Liquid and I'm looking at their damage. This Sven with an S and Y on top of Echo Saber, he's gonna have like 2,500, 3,000 HP. I mean, yeah, he's absolutely. How are they gonna bring him down once he gets these items? And again, the Splink usage from Yapso is in on a mind control. Rolling Thunder to cancel the TP. They found the Enigma. He's fairly tanky with the helm, but not tanky enough. Another stun comes in, and Zai Swashbuckle does the job. Very problematic here for Liquid. They're starting to make rotations with more heroes. They've got the level sixes. Can they set up for mid one? The Fisher into the two-man static storm. GH walks in. Echo Sam. They've got the combo. Mid one falling low. With the miss the, the refraction. He's still alive. Dives oh my in. God. The Adonic Shield back up. They didn't kill the TA. Puppy there with the save. They kill all three of them. Secret. It doesn't matter if you get that sun follow-up, Puppy. He's going to pop that burrow time, hand out a heal, hand out a shield. Any chance for mid one to get Refraction back off, he'll just turn and cut you down as they move into Roche. And that's their two big ults down, so they can freely go into this. Desso's finished up, this Roche is dead. And this, they're just, we were already talking about damage issues for the Sven. They just had damage issues for the Templar Assassin. It's going from bad to worse for Liquid in this game four as Secret are relentless. 10 to three, just making moves all over the map, taking advantage of this greedy Liquid Draft. See the 15 minute runes round, Liquid will be able to at least secure themselves the two down bottom, but losing the tier one mid. Mid one, 1600 towards the Blink Dagger on top of the Desolator, only 15 minutes. You say no old Zai toying around with Liquid behind the tier two tower. Without the Echo, without the Static Storm, it's hard to put a stop to this push forward as Secret just continue to clean up objectives across the map and Liquid are not prepared to stop them yet. They just don't have damage at all. They can't take out pretty much any of the targets unless they're completely isolated. And now we're seeing Secret all grouping up and just playing together. They've got this time if they've got Aegis, they've got Deso. And a full Blink Dagger as well on Yapsor. So he's already had the Blink stolen a lot of times. Now he can actually go for other spells on top of having that. They're gonna keep forcing. pushing. There's no need to slow down here if you're secret. They have to sustain. Puppy sat behind mid one. They still have a siege creep too, so they're trying to siege this. They've got the war cry now too. Tanking up the tower hits. Oh, they see Kuroki on the back lines, the traps. He has got a static storm if he wants to throw it out, but he's gonna let himself die. Nothing that he can do. He's gotta hold on to that static storm for the high ground defense. He'll be back up in 20. Mind control, a lot resting on him. He yep. picks up the blink dagger. He needs some incredible play. They have to just try to stall it as best as possible. It but might look catch at this. them off guard. Secret's just forcing it super hard. Zai is sitting in the back lines there, making sure to have one person that can stop that black hole set up back there. Miracle does have his Battle Fury finished up, but they have to try to save this Rax. It's going down. GH is just dying. They can't get in close enough to stop him. The blink's done now for mid one. The buyback's coming out from GH. But the melee racks, it's gone. Nisha takes it, and now leading him with a stun. They're fighting underneath the tier fours. Kuro dead mind control. He gets the two-man black hole. Is there the damage to There's get no the damage. kill? There isn't. They run away. Mid one shielded. GH tries with the echo slam. He's caught out Nisha. They do actually manage to get the kill on mid one. Okay. They need more than miracle. Jumping down, looking for Zai. Mana boy will do it. They do get three kills, pushing secret back. But they do lose the melee rack. Secret do the structural damage. It was really looking like they didn't have the damage there. But Tampa Man was actually able to sit in the back and get some good peeps off as that sniper. But they lose the racks. And the black hole is down now too, as well as the echo slam. So Secret, they could group up, look for that continued pressure. Liquid though, now get themselves some breathing room. Like we were talking about, that was right, that was right after Miracle was able to finish that battle fury up. Also picks himself up a kill. Needs more time though. Down bottom, Yapsor. And with GH, GH goes for the TP, but Nisha, oh! He will get out. Ooh, 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 GH. Very, very close to being caught out by the Stormbot. Secret now in position to move round on the bottom. Take away another tier two tower. Yep. In fact, those... already Yapsor inside there hunting. See if they can get a catch. Matsu's got to be careful. Static Storm being used to try and hold Secret back, but Yapsor is in with a blink. Close to the gap. Zai's got the rolling thunder. He's heading straight towards this sniper. Mid one's in on top of him. A couple of hits. Matsu's gone. They've lost the sniper. The control's there as well. Zai continues to roll forward. Cut down mind control with the swashbuckle. Double kill for mid one. 
Like we said, immediately, as soon as they respawn, they know ultis were used, they know how strong they are, they know the advantage they have, they know how their draft is played out. They know they have the sustain with the abandoned behind. They need to press this as much as possible, so this anti-mage can't just farm it up. We see Miracle, he's trying to cut some waves as best as possible. The Yasha is finished, but Secret, they want to end this. They want to try to just they claim a two, two racks advantage. And it's such a long time still for these ultimates, over 80 seconds before the yeah. Black Holes back up. 30 seconds without the Echo Slam. Secret with a huge window of opportunity to just take more from the base of Liquid. As without these ultimates, there's very little that Liquid can do to slow down the siege. Mind Control lays down a pulse, but the Range Rax is gone. That Melee Rax on the bottom lane falling as well. 19 minutes in, Secret take another set of racks. Absolutely no mercy from Secret. They're really just putting the pressure on. They know the greed that's coming out. They lift. Yapsor actually gets reflected Malifus here. Malefus as well. Yapsor, oh, he gets out with the stolen bleak. He escapes and now Zai rolls in. He's caught out Kuro. He's caught out Matumba. The block for the Fisher GH will save them, keeping Nisha away. Zai, he's got a swashbuckle to get back out of there. Kuro gets hit by get the Deso. Ooh, he was trying to get, he put the ward on the outside to try to glimpse him back into the base. I gotta be honest, the Liquid lucky not to lose any lives there as Zai getting in as such. But the, the, the Fisher plays, GH making sure there'll be no casualties for Liquid, at least in that fight. It's just all about continuing to try to stall as best as you can How for Liquid. How long the Black Hole now? They've got it up in about 15 seconds. The Aegis also gets reclaimed. They've got Echo Slam available too. And how close are we to Miracle's Manta? Still not quite there. Once he has the Manta, he can start actually getting involved, getting involved and jumping into the fights. But still, even with Manta, he, he's fairly squishy. As, as we've said, their, lab, their draft is just squishy. I'm gonna look to chase down Puppy, Puppy. Ooh. He hasn't got the ult, he's still on cooldown for 10 seconds, but he denies himself! Zai's able to get in as well with the Rolling Thunder Miracle, will be able to blink off in time, but Nisha charging forward with a haste rune. He's a little scared of how it goes in for more, they know the timings, they know that Black Hole's back online, so Secret won't push too riskily. Liquid, they'll certainly want to go, the smoke is out. They're trying to yeah, press their timing here. They know that Secret's probably backing up right now because they lost their Baton and also picking up their items. I think Secret has like 6k or more on their heroes right now. Majority of their gold lead just sitting idly on those heroes until they get those BKBs finished. But Liquid, they can't actually find the pickoff when they do go for the smoke. Secret just avoiding the duration of the smoke. And now with the five of them back in the game, they're going to look to hit back hard themselves. But they'll start to move from the middle lane. Secret out on the hunt. Liquid have to play so careful. They're going to get tabs of where Liquid is positioned to with that ward they have right now on that high ground. So they see all of Liquid's heroes except for the Enigma at the moment. Puppy leading the charge. You get the D ward, but already. Secret note, the exact whereabouts of Liquid here back in the base. Still have a good chunk of gold on their heroes on Secret. So they're trying to get something out of that smoke, but backing up, looking to finish up those few items. Roche will find out in about a minute or so. That's probably the one that Secret's waiting for to look to press and break that high ground and end the game. He's giving it Liquid some time though. That Manta is going to be finished up for Miracle soon. Still quite a ways away from pretty much anything else though. The support's not really getting much of anything. Mind Control trying to get a BKB for himself as well because there's nothing really BKB piercing until way later till like the meld bash from TA or Bastion on the Pango. If he is able to get BKB on Enigma, he can look to get it off if he catches the Rubik. You have to be careful because you're playing versus Yapsor. So playing around black holes in Enigma is always a big, a big scare. Dyer's top a healing has power. It's mid. Liquid now on Secret's half of the map. Secret, they're heading over. Liquid have to be careful around here. I mean, Secret are a little split up. Maybe if they can take the targets one at a time, they'll have eyes onto Puppy, Miracle. We'll spot out Zai, but in fact, he's been spotted out themselves to lift. Into the thunder, he needs help. GH will fire out a oh, fisher, the but the hit. Mid one, more than enough damage. Miracle dead for 50 seconds. And with his purchases, he's got no way of buying back. He just bought the Manta. They draw the line. They want to just go for that. This is go, go, go here. time. 40 second window, sure, Liquid. They still have a black hole and an echo slam. They're going to try and go for a risky play here. Smoking up whilst being a man down. May catch Secret off guard. They might not expect the jump from Liquid whilst their anti-mage is dead. Off Liquid could only find this courier for themselves here. It's got so much gold on it. That's like 8,000 or 7,000 gold on that courier. It is going to get delivered safely. Now get it over towards them. Miracle back up soon enough though. Not the longest respawn timing left. A secret unable to reach the high ground on top lane before he's back. The play it safe secret. They know that they're in a very comfortable position. 
Matumba is just not getting any farm either. He's just been sitting in the base. He's got the, ma the Mask of Madness plus the Maelstrom, so he does deal a decent amount of damage if he's in the back lines, but we are just talking about how tanky the heroes on Secret are. A full Satanic for Nisha now on top of that SNY. 3,100 HP. Midnight Pulse is going to hurt quite a lot. But the other heroes most definitely will not. As they keep those traps inside that Roche pit, and Roche will be respawning right now, and they will see it immediately on the side of Secret Liquid. They know that it's going to be coming up soon. They're looking to try to find something. What can they get? Yapsul. They bolt out the mid lane and blinks away. Only Puppy shown on the front, and he's not the target. Really isn't Secret now themselves. Smoking up. Both teams, everybody <laughs> under the cover of smoke right now. It's so hard. For them to find the jump, Puppy leads forward. He just runs in, breaks Miracle. the smoke. He has got this Invis. This is giving them some pretty big information as he is indeed able to dispel the smoke on a lot of them. Smoke has worn out, though, for the majority of Liquid as well. Miracle still charging in. Secret knows this is happening. Look at the lanes. All the lanes are pushing in onto Liquid's side, and no one is pushing them now. They know that uh, Liquid is hunting at the moment, and they're still just going to walk into the pit anyway. Radiant still with this Invis. He's being scanned out, though. Secret, they've scanned this. They know that someone is around here. Invis, and now Miracle shows he's instantly out with the blink. They're going to try and chase, up. though. They still get the lift. The sun is prop for the lucky shot. The rolling thunder stun. There's the match. Another blink out. Miracle will still continue to try his best to escape. God, that was so scary. And he won't make it away, but will he die? He's him. in. Another prop, but it's only the sun, not the silence. So he can blink out. Miracle will live to see another day. But the space more than there for Secret to now move into Roshan as Miracle has to reset and heal up. Secret will take the Rosh. They're just giving, showing no mercy to Liquid whatsoever here. Just all staying grouped up, not giving any opportunities for them. Just so close to Miracle even dying there. So many things he does have to play around. Just so many different disables. Even the lucky shot, another factor that he has to watch out for as this anti-mage, even if he has the Manta. Liquid need an absolute dream here. They do have the team fight. They do have the wombo combo. A secret to have the saves. Puppy with the defensive abilities. Yapsul with the counter plays, with the spell steals. Both supports have the answers to Liquid, even if Liquid get those dream jump ins. Yeah, and just sheer HP. 3,200 on that Sven. TA also has BKB on top two. Liquid. This last tier three, this last set of racks. Nearly a 20k gold lead for Secret at just 26 minutes into the game. A Secret, they can absolutely almost taste it here. In game four, two, one up. Puppy's even making sure to keep this Siege Creep alive to clean up that final range racks. But Tumperman will deny it. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's top Trying their best to hold off this That's push. That's they go one. Counter blink out will be there from mind control. They jump. GH goes in with the echo slam. Static sold down as well. They're looking to kill Mibon. They, they have killed him. him. He used the BKP before his ages. Can they do it a second time? Miracle now starting to back off. There's the leader from Zai. Rolling for the catches. GH, they get Kuro as well. GH buys back immediately. As Liquid will now try and push them back. The tier three falls on the retreat. They will manage to push Secret back and out of there, but they do again lose a tier three tower. They, I'm surprised he didn't get the cheese off there. He got the BKB up, but wasn't able to actually get the cheese. Just a little bit too much damage coming in. Great jump by Liquid, though, just catching him if, off guard before he's able to get it. They still have their black hole available, too. It's just the Echo Slam they had to use, as well as that Static Storm. But Secret, they back up, wait for the TA to respond, and they still have the, the lane pressure coming out. Liquid just still kind of trapped in their base. It's just Miracle who can come out and get any type of farm. But it's not the same. Your, your anti-mage does not want to be at this point. You want to be ahead of both the TA and that Sven. They both have such a net worth advantage over you. Fights are so difficult to take for Liquid. And of course, you know, sure, they, they do kill him, but it does mean that Mibon has the cheese for the next push still. Yeah. Nisha still has the Aegis. Now they don't have to worry about the Echo Slam, just having to worry about that Black Hole Static Storm in 15 or 10 seconds now. Secret. How many shrapnel charges? We have only one shrapnel charge left as well for Matumba Man. He's holding on to it as much as possible for that high ground defense. 
How can they manage it? Mimbo, he's in! He's on top of Kuro. Kuro does get the Static Storm off in time. Another sun being laid down. Now Mimbo gets the chance. But the BB Mind Control's in! He gets the two-man black hole! They managed to kill off Mimbo! Can they get it into the ball? The three of the walk into the rolling thunder on the side as they roll through! Swatch Pokemon onto Matuba Man! Miracle is dead! But he's back. Kuro back to base. Matuba Man is still alive as well. Gapsor still has the black hole stolen as well. And is back in! Triple kill! Jumps in on top of the sniper! Matu dead! Three gone on Liquid! Only Miracle! Miracle and Kuro left alive for the he's whole Yap dead! The Yap hole! He's got the control! Miracle, the last one left alive! Mantis pop, he's now been silenced! The lucky shot's there! Miracle's dead! They'll take the top rank, they'll take the game, they'll take the series! Team Secret have done it! Three to one, your major champions! Absolutely relentless. They just didn't give any breathing room to Liquid at all. And we saw in this series, it seemed like whichever team came ahead out of that laning phase just absolutely took control. These teams just so good at understanding the map control. And with this run that Secrets had here at the Major, so many games where it just looked like the opposition had no chance at all. They are undoubtedly the best team in the world and not, not by a